You don't gotta trust me. Just listen to what I'm saying to you. Sir Elgar MD. All right, guys, I'm back, and I am here to talk about balloon catheters, okay? Angioplasty balloons. I have one right here. This is a angioplasty balloon catheter, all right? This is from Bard. This is a Conquest balloon, a very commonly used balloon. And we're going to talk about it, and I'm going to blow it up. I think that's the part that everyone wants to see, is the angioplasty balloon being blown up, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. So first, let's just talk about the back end of the catheter a little bit. I'm going to take this... Uh, Stop cock off. So the back end of the catheter uh, tells you a lot here. First, you'll see one part that's kind of straight. You'll see one part of the catheter that's kind of curved. Okay, so obviously one of these is going to be the balloon. Uh, uh, for your for help, you basically have things written right on there. So I can tell on this curved portion here, it says actually 10 millimeter by 8, by eight centimeter. So that's referring to the balloon itself. So it's 10 millimeters in width and eight, 8 centimeters in length. So that's the balloon portion. You don't really want to inject into that because that's going to blow up the balloon, or at least you want to know that before you infuse anything into that. Uh, the other part here, that's the catheter part. It says right there the type of wire it accepts. So it says on there 035, so this is going to go in over an 035 wire. So let's get to the good part. Uh, we'll keep following this catheter up, and we're going to get to eventually to the balloon here. So this is the balloon in a collapsed state. Okay, and I've already blown this balloon up, so it sort of has lost its uh, normal contour. Uh, but without any further delay, I'm basically going to show you uh, what it looks like to blow up this angioplasty balloon. All right, so here I have a 20cc syringe attached to a three-way stopcock. I'm using that to basically uh, lock uh, air into the balloon. The other thing I could use is an insufflator. Of course, I don't have one of those at home, so I can't do that. So basically, I'm going to start infusing uh, 20 cc's of air into the balloon. So here's the balloon uh, deflated. Here I'm just inflating it with 20 cc's of air. I'm just going to lock that real quick. So there's 20 cc's of air in it. I'm going to put in another 20 cc's to really kind of stiffen up this balloon. Okay, so now I have locked in about uh, 40 cc's of air in this balloon. So here you go. You can see that angioplasty balloon right there. Okay. Sort of feel it. It's uh, it's stiff. Now, mind you, this is full of air. Uh, typically, we'd actually fill this with uh, contrast or contrast mixed with saline. And also, typically, with the insufflation device, we'd be able to monitor how much pressure is inside the balloon. Uh, there are two pressures to know about with a balloon. You want to know the, the pressure at which the balloon is at a nominal uh, size, the size that it's intended. And you also want to know when the balloon will burst. The balloon bursts inside the body. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but if there is, say, a lot of air in the balloon, uh, that could be a big issue, especially if you're in the artery. Um, it is something to know. You want to know when the balloon's going to break. You want to take it up to a maximum pressure without breaking it. Okay, there's a lot more rules uh, that go with the balloons, and I'm not going to get into the specifics, but I really just wanted to show you is what an angioplasty balloon looks like blown up and what the entire device looks like, the, the uh, catheter, the balloon catheter. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. Just wanted to talk a little bit about balloon catheters. Hope you find this helpful. i uh, got a lot more content in my head. I'm just waiting to put it uh, into video. So please stay tuned. If you like this, go ahead and click like below. Subscribe for additional content. Thanks for watching, guys. Strobar MD. I'm out of here.